Here's a closer look at genetics. This topic can be confusing, but understanding your makeup is vital to making the right decision for you and your baby. So think about it like this. Our body is made up of cells, and within these cells is DNA, or genetic information, which comes in the form of chromosomes and genes. Chromosomes are large bundles of DNA. Genes are smaller segments of DNA. Our body needs this information to learn how to develop and function normally. There are 23 pairs of chromosomes for a total of 46. Half come from our mother and half come from our father. The first 22 of 23 pairs of chromosomes are the same for both men and women. The last pair is our sex chromosome, which differs between the genders as females typically have two X chromosomes and males have one X and Y chromosome. To make it even more mind-boggling, in total, there are approximately 20,000 genes that make up those 46 chromosomes. Here's another way to look at it. Imagine chromosomes as if they were a book on a shelf in the library. You need a certain number of books to fill the library, just like you need a certain amount of chromosome material to create a healthy baby. When there is an error in the amount of chromosome material, that is referred to as a chromosome abnormality. A gene is like an individual page within that book, which is so small it can't be seen by simply looking at all the books on the shelf. When there is an error in the DNA code within a gene, it's referred to as a single gene disorder, which in this case is like finding a spelling error on a page in one of those books. Having an imbalance in the amount of chromosome material or an error in the DNA code within a gene increases the risk for physical and or intellectual disability in your child. Not all chromosome or gene changes are hereditary or passed on within one family from one generation to the next. There are many changes in a chromosome or gene that are not hereditary and are spontaneous, occurring at the time of the egg or sperm formation. We refer to these changes as de novo. Hereditary changes in a chromosome or gene may or may not be visible when taking a family history. While some conditions affecting our health are 100% genetic, many conditions affecting our health are considered multifactorial which is caused by both genetic and environmental influences. Examples would be isolated birth defects, diabetes, and heart disease. Understanding genetics may not come naturally, but that's okay, because you've got a dedicated team that has everything you need to make you feel good about your next chapter.